Hi lovelies! I am here today to do a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial and I also show you in the very beginning of the video I had to do a voiceover long story but the hair tutorial portion of the video is a voiceover but the makeup tutorial is just live just me talking to the camera. Um, but anyway, if you wanna see how I style my short hair and get this like voluminous, full, straight bob look, then you can watch the beginning of the video. If you don't care about the hair video, um, I will put a timestamp where, timestamp? What am I, British? A timestamp where, okay. <laughs> I will put a timestamp where you can skip to the makeup tutorial portion of this video. So I hope you that I hope wow 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 I hope you enjoy I hope you subscribe to my channel if you would like to if you want to see more videos hit that red button that says subscribe leave comments down below tell me what your Valentine's Day plans are or your Galentine's Day plans are because some of us are single and we're just hanging out with our girls on the 13th because we don't have a man for the 14th. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. I think I already said that anyway. Here's the video this way. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. So this is the hair tutorial portion of the video. Let's fix up this mess. Seriously. So the first thing I do is take a hairbrush and I brush my hair. Shocking. I know this is life-changing information. Find your part. I had to re-wet my bangs because I had already dried and that's gonna make it difficult to style them. So off camera, I re-wet them. And then the next thing that I did was take this Thicker Fuller Hair Advanced Thickening Solutions Serum. It has caffeine energizer and Celluplex Pure Plant Extracts. So basically it's supposed to thicken and volumize fine, thin, limp hair. So I just took, as you could see, a little pump in my fingertips, rub it together, and then I just disperse it throughout my hair, starting at the roots, and then I kind of bring it down to the ends, but mainly focusing it in the roots, almost like I'm shampooing my hair, I guess. I'm running my fingers through my hair. Then I used this Design Me product. It's called Power Dry Me, and it basically cuts down your blow drying time in half, supposedly. I did use this, and I took before and after pictures and timed how long it took me to blow dry my hair, and it genuinely did cut down the blow drying time. Yes, it smells really, really good, which is a bonus, um, but yeah, it genuinely works. My friend Brie got this for me, so hi Brie if you're watching this video. Thank you so much for giving me this product and then I take my blow dryer and I blow dry my hair. Um, I start with my fingers and basically what I'm doing is I am blow drying my hair in the opposite direction. So I take the hair and flip it over my head on the side. I'll take a brush as you can see and I will blow dry it in the opposite direction. That is going to lift it at the root and give you more volume, whereas if you're just blow drying it in a downward motion, it's going to flatten your hair, but we want volume. Also, if you are growing your bangs out, um, taking your brush and blow drying your bangs in the direction of your hair is going to help when it comes to styling your hair. So I basically just continue to blow dry my hair. I use my fingers and I just go all over. And yes, I realized the blow dryer was blowing my backdrop up and you could see the floor. So, you know, that was a little ridiculous. Um, but I go underneath my hair and it gets a little warm when you blow dry your hair for that amount of time. Then I'm going to flat iron my hair. Normally I like to put some waves in it. But today I just decided I was gonna change it up and straighten my hair. So I just clipped the rest of my hair out of the way. These lower sections of my hair, when it's short, they tend to flip up at the ends. So what I do with a straightener is I take it and I curve it inwards, which is going to obviously turn your hair to curve inward instead of flipping outward. You might have to go over some pieces a couple times to really get it to stick. For some reason, that side of my head naturally curves in where the other side is a little more stubborn. And then the nice thing about having short hair is I can just take bigger 
sections. Um, when my hair was longer, I used to have to take thinner sections and I am just doing the exact same thing. I'm taking like one inch sections and just using the flat iron and curving the ends inwards. That's also going to help give you some volume and body to your hair. If you just straighten it flat down and don't curve at the end, it's not going to have as much body to it. So that's why I like to do it that way. And when it comes to the bangs, I'm trying to um, straighten them again in the direction of that hair. And then with a rat tail comb, I am taking that same brand, Thicker Fuller Hair, and this is their Weightless Volumizing Hairspray. And it, again, has Caffeine Energizer in it, same ingredients. And then what I'm going to do with that comb is back comb my hair. So I'm basically just taking the comb and I'm brushing the hair downward toward the root and then setting that in place with the hairspray and I'm just going to let it sit there for a few minutes while the hairspray dries because if you flip your hair back and brush your hair out while the hairspray is still wet it's not going to hold so this just really allows it to set in place fan it out let it dry a little bit you know what I'm saying and uh that is that's a cute Look, and then I just do the exact same thing to the other side. We are looking hot. And I also realized I had to do the back because we want some volume in the back too, you know what I'm saying? And then once everything has set in place, I lightly take a hairbrush and brush out the hair so that it looks normal. But you don't want to brush too hard or else you're just going to brush all of that tease out that you just did. So very lightly brush the hair out. And then I take my Aussie hairspray, which is like a higher hold hairspray, and I apply it to the top of my head and I take my brush and just kind of comb down any flyaways you might have. And that is how we get this body fill bob look. That's not a word. Anyway, it's time to do our face. So here we go. And here we go. Okay, so we are coming out of the hair tutorial portion. I just clipped my bangs off to the side. I did my base face makeup, so foundation, bronzer, baking, but I didn't do the blush or the highlighter. I want the main focus today to be on the eyes. So as I said in the intro, we are doing like a Valentine's Day inspired tutorial. Thanks to my friend Brie, who suggested like an ombre pink red look. Valentine's Day is in 10 days, so now's the perfect time to do it. So we're just gonna get into it. As always, I am going to prime my eyelids first. I'm using the Urban Decay Original um, Primer Potion, but I've said this before in other videos. I plan on getting the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer because it is way 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 cheaper and works just as well maybe i'll do like a test video where i do one eye with the urban decay and one eye with the elf and we'll see if one holds up better than the other i purposefully didn't do my under eye concealer yet because i figure with the eyeshadow and everything it might get a little bit messy we're gonna have to clean it up anyway so let's just save that for the end so Okay, so the first color I'm going to take is this Makeup Geek Single Eyeshadow in the color Cupcake. And on our biggest, fluffiest brush, which is the Morphe 573 brush, I'm going to pick up this pink color and we are, we are going to blend this all the way in our crease and take it pretty high up, not obviously we're not taking up the entire brow bone area. We're leaving this empty, but we are definitely taking this color the highest up. Okay, so I had to take a little time out. I decided since we were using such bold colors today that I would put some tape down to make this the least messy as possible. If you're just doing like a neutral look, the tape is not necessary, but since we're going to be using pinks and reds and 
glitter and basically everything dramatic that you can think of, tape is going to be your friend in this situation. So the next Makeup Geek shadow I'm going to take is this like hot pink one, which is called Poodle. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is ColourPop, not Makeup Geek. They're both like single shadow, so I got confused. First one was Makeup Geek. Second one is ColourPop in the color Poodle. My bad. I'm going to use a Morphe 532 brush. Oh, that is, there's a lot of fallout. Or um, kick up, kick back, whatever it's called. When there's like a lot of... Anyway. And using very light pressure, I'm just going to build that underneath that first pink shade that we used. Okay, so now on a Morphe 514 brush, I'm going into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and I am going to pick up this color right here called Love Letter, which is very fitting for what we're doing. And I am just going to build that underneath what we just did. And still taking it all the way into the inner corner, across the lid, and into the outer corner. Now on a Morphe 124 brush, I'm going to use this color right here, which is called Venetian Red. And I'm actually going to dip a little bit into Red Ochre as well. I'm sort of mixing the two colors. And then I am going to apply that on the rest of the eyelid that has not already been accounted for. <gasps> Do you see all this fallout? Oh, crap. That is why I didn't do my under eye concealer yet. Now I'm going to take the tape off. And we are going to have to deal with cleaning up this mess. I'm also going to wipe away the bake. So now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Natural. And we are going to clean up our under eye. Taking my damp Real Techniques Complexion sponge. I'm blending the concealer out. Being very careful when you get to the inner corner. Sometimes I'll just dab with my finger. So much better already. Now I'm going to Set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Like so. Now I want to use this Stila uh, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold Retro. And I'm going to do like glitter liner. So to do that, I'm actually taking this little paintbrush and I'm just going to pick up the glitter on the paintbrush and then I'm just going to apply it like I would liquid liner.
While I wait for that to dry, I am going to, I'm going to take this Morphe 213 brush and dipping back into this palette, I'm gonna take this color Vermeer and I'm just, I'm just going to place it in the brow bone area. I'm also going to place it on the inner corner. On the Morphe 514 brush, I'm going to use this color Bone Fresco. I'm going to blend that underneath my lash line. I'm also going to take a little, little tiny bit of Love Letter and also blend that underneath the lash line, but just in the outer corner. Okay, before I finish the eyes, I'm going to put some blush on. So I'm using the Makeup, whoop, the Makeup Geek blush in Spellbound because, you know, we're sticking with a very Valentine's Day theme. And these names like Love Letter and Poodle and Cupcake and Spellbound. They're all very, uh, you know, couple nicknames and Valentine's Day sounding things. I'm gonna go a little heavier with the blush than normal just because this is a very like pink Valentine's Day look. I might have put a little too much on my cheeks. And then, for highlighter, I'm going to use this Urban Decay highlighter that I don't know the name of because it came in an Ipsy bag. And I'm going to spray it with some water. And then I am going to put that on my cheekbone. I forgot to fill in my brows, so I'm just gonna do that really fast using this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Pencil. It's like the easiest and fastest way I do my brows. Like that's literally it and then I'm done. Now for lashes, I'm taking these Ardell um, Demi Wispies and I always cut the corners a little bit just because they like poke in the inner corner of my eye if I don't, I don't like that. So I hold them in place with tweezers and then I take this duo glue. I need new glue though, cause this stuff burns my eyes. But it's all I got today. And then I place the glue along the lash line or the band, whatever. Let it get tacky, so. And then, I place them in the middle, and then I lay down the inner and outer corner. Then, while my lashes are drying, I'm going to apply my lipstick. So first I'm using this Stila liquid lipstick in the color Rubino. It's kind of like a mix between a red and a hot, or not a hot pink, but like a fuchsia. Like if you can see on the brush, there's like a pink undertone. Well, I definitely accidentally went way outside my upper lip line. Oops. Can't change it now. It would have helped if I had a lip liner too, but I couldn't find a lip liner this dark. 
Now what I'm going to do is curl the falsies and my lashes together. Then I'm going to line my upper and lower lash line. I just use the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in brown. And then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and just blend my natural lashes with the falsies. And then also apply that to my lower lash is lashes. Yeah. Now you can totally leave the lipstick matte like this. But I still have uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. I still have these Pop Beauty topper poppers. They're like a metallic lip topper. Um, so I thought it'd be fun for Valentine's Day in keeping with the glitter theme. Let's just try it out and see what it looks like. So this is the color Red Popper. And I'm just going to put that right over top. Yeah, I think that is pretty, kind of added like a subtle, you know, metallic-ness to it. All right, I'm going to take out the bobby pin tissue. And you know what, I have better earrings, hold on. I think these earrings are a little more fitting for this look, if you agree. Um, but yeah, this is the completed hair tutorial, makeup tutorial, um, don't mind me, I, I touch my hair a lot more now that it's cut, um, yeah, it's kind of a problem, but anyway, I'll try to stop. So this is the red, pink eye tutorial, I thought the, um, glitter eyeliner would be like a fun pop on the lid. I really like this metallic lip topper over this color. I like the dark with the sort of lighter-ish color. Um, but yeah, if you wanna do something fun and a little more glam, a little more dramatic than normal for Valentine's Day, then this is a great option for you. Or you could always modify, um, use different colors, use less. You could always tone things down. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed. And I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Wow, that is a first. Anyway, I hope you will come back in the future for more videos of mine. And lastly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.